The Outsiders is a story about a 14-year-old boy named Ponyboy Curtis, and it's about his life uh, living in a small town in Oklahoma. The uh, play was written by S.E. Hinton in a, to a very famous book, very popular book that's read by millions of schools. Uh, students around the country and what, what happened with S.E. Hinton she when she was a sophomore in high school she wrote this book because she saw one of her friends get beat up by some uh, rich kids in town and she was so incensed by that she wrote a story about the, the socias which stands for socials the rich kids uh, fighting against the greasers which are the poor kids so that was the genesis of the story and uh, it's written from the point of view of Ponyboy the 14 year old narrator. Uh, a lot of the underlying messages have to do with love and loss and uh, I would say that a lo uh, it's something that Johnny says nothing gold can stay which is probably one of the most quoted lines of the outsiders m most remembered lines um, it's that you know you may face hardships you may face uh, you might be rich you might be poor but everybody um, can find find gold within it. It can't stay, but you have to cherish it. You have to find fresh things in life, and you have to appreciate what you have. I think everyone can kind of relate to being an outsider at some point. It's that feeling of not fitting in to either what people think you should look like, or talk like, or wear, or dress. Sometimes you may not have the same amount of money, or the same house, and for some reason, you get that feeling of not completely fitting in. And I mean, in The Outsiders, it's just, it's expanded to these two different social groups that don't ever come together at all. This show is definitely a timeless show. Um, and I'm really excited that we're doing it for young audiences because there's a lot of messages in there. And I mean, I could talk about a few, but one definitely is, I think, Fighting is never an answer. Um, it it does more harm than good. You can't judge a book by its cover, you know, just because you're a social or a greaser or black or white or whatever. Um, there's a lot more to the person, and you, you can find out that you're a lot more similar to them than you might think. Well, I think it's... I think this is a perfect show to be able to do it, the Playhouse Junior, and I'm so excited when we for when we have a middle school audience because I think that they'll totally be able to relate. I remember reading this this book in seventh grade and I just loved it because the way it's written, the fact that it was written, the author was um, 15 when she wrote it. She, she was a 15 year old writing about 15 year olds for 15 year olds and um, around that age to read. So um, I think that this play is just perfect for middle schoolers to come see because I think each one of them can identify with feeling like an outsider at some point of their in their of their life and um, coping with that and dealing with that.